I woke up today with such a grin on my face, like a Girl Scout selling cookies outside of a Walmart and I see a mobility scooter zooming its way towards me and a woman with a hundred dollar bill gripped in her hand. It's that type of day. This honestly put a smile on my face imagining this. If you don't know yet, then Dream and the voice actor of Gumball, I'm not really sure what his name is. I can see his name on Twitter is Cantu. What's his name? Alright, his name was Nicholas Cantu. And, uh, but I'll just call him Nick. And basically, Nick decides to respond to a parody account saying, <laughs> Bro, you an actual pedophile. You can't joke about being a pedophile to a parody account, which is known for just posting stuff about, like, touching kids or, like, Oh yeah, here's my boyfriend and he's like six years old. But Dream decides to respond to this. He started off by saying that he responded to a fake account, which was uh, basically parody account making fun of Dream. But he was saying that I'm not a pedophile no matter how much you joke. And then basically was saying that he did, a, like he assaulted him. And then basically said a lot of things and a lot of saids. Apparently he also voice acted in Dora and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is pretty cool. Though, the bit about being racist... I, I don't know about that. The stuff he responds to is what gets... it's what cracks me up. It really gets me giggling. He responds to, yes, I slap box you and I slap boxed you in front of the hose. Immediate, immediate start, great start. Getting right into the, in the nitty and gritty of it. Yes, I was an asshole to the Uber driver and was wasted and it wasn't cool, which is why I tipped him a lot of money. So, you know, he did, you know, feel sorry for like the whole situation he caused to the Uber driver. And three was, yes, I called you fat and a predator. <laughs> and see, I just have the imagery of seeing Gumball, just Gumball Watterson, just standing over Dream with his bloody knuckles saying, calling him fat and a predator. <laughs> That imagery is so amazing in my head. Of course, assault is bad. Yes, that was, that was, violence is not an answer to a lot of things. It's just, I can't get that out of my head. He's spot on about basically everything except the racial, racial shit. So, and me saying the N word, don't do that shit. Won't say that shit ever. Okay. So, so I didn't, I didn't read that last part. So he didn't say the racist shit, just calling him a, just calling him names and fat and predator is, is what i'm saying and the last one has me rolling hire a harvard professor to calculate why despite texting every twitch streamer in austin not a single one wants to fuck you get this man a fucking award get him get him a get him the nobel peace prize this this honestly is the funniest thing that has happened recently oh yeah i forgot to mention the parody account which responded to him Responded to Dream's initial post saying, you're the fake account here, stop impersonating me or I'll send my of age army of Discord kittens to dox you. And the thing about this is, it out liked him, out retweeted him, out pretty much everything to him, and Dream is left coping. Actually, he can't even cope anymore, he's coped so hard, all he can do is seethe now. And I'm looking through his account, uh, or Nick's account right now. He's posted that Dream has blocked him. Scrolling up to another one. <laughs> it's just an edited video of uh, Street Fighter. Is this Street Fighter? I don't know. I'm not too into fighting games. I've edited with him fighting Dream <laughs> and him as Omni Man. Oh, he really said, I already, I already imagined myself as the Chad and you as Soy Jack. That's really all I wanted to say. I just wanted to recap this little thing. I just wanted to talk about this because this is one of the goofiest scenarios that could have happened. Just Gumball v Dream. It's put a genuine smile on my face, feeling giddy. Honestly, it's been a downfall for Dream. I don't pay much attention to the content. All I know is that he showed his face. It all went downhill from there. He tried getting into music. He had a concert recently, which I saw a few clips from that. And I honest, honestly, that's all I'm seeing from it. I really did not like it. I really did not like it, especially when he was like trying to like impress the chicks and he did like a voice crack thing i think he's just trying to grasp at straws right now because right now he's been down falling it's at a it's a downward slope and he's trying to grab what he can grab what fans and like fame he can and try to hold on to that as much as possible which is why i think he's getting into music and it's not good music i'll be honest it's not good music that was me i shouldn't say that 
it's dog shit music to me. I don't make a lot of drama content, but this, I just, I had to talk about it. Also, I just wanted to test my new mic filters and talk about this. But, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to say... That the <laughs> okay, I have to put the phone down. I'm, I'm looking at this too much. I just scrolled down again, and apparently there's some past drama. It says four days ago that Dream admitted to grooming minors. And he's now saying that he didn't. I'm like 95% sure that this is just fake and they're just doing this for attention and for likes and stuff. Dream isn't, I don't, I don't know his content, I don't really like, I don't get him, but I'm pretty sure he's not stupid enough to, you know, go through with that type of thing. Well, that's it. Nick, live a strong life, though it seems like you're already doing that. And a dream, well, I hope you can pick up your fandom as fast as you caught those hands.